fellow members of the Kuluruma Liberation Front. You are the true soldiers of this country. The Federal Army no longer upholds truth and justice. The rampant spread of bribery and corruption throughout the government cannot be tolerated. They sell our natural resources for their own personal gain. There is no time to waste. The good people of this country look to us to right these wrongs. The revolution shall arise from here. One of the obeys. We shall rebuild Kularumba with our own hands. I'm sorry, but your visit must be cut short, doctors. This area has become a danger zone. The guerrillas have taken one a day of base. The government is launching a campaign to win it back. There's a military base nearby? Its existence has been kept confidential for strategic reasons. But according to our intelligence, Major General Ramirez has double-crossed us. Unbelievable! Our unit has been asked to join the mission the President has ordered. Sounds like a war's about to erupt. What are we supposed to do? Allow me to explain. Mr. President! We will be launching an assault on Wanadeo base momentarily. I would be most grateful if you could tend to any soldiers who are injured in the offensive. We are short on medics, you see. We didn't come here to get involved in military operations. However, if we don't intervene, the guerrillas will attack the villagers. How can you recognize the threat of stigma and simply ignore the threat of the guerrillas? I represent the citizens of this country. If you continue to defy their will, I will have no choice but to imprison you under martial law. Mr. President, you can't be serious. These three came here with the best intentions. All right, we'll do as you ask. Dr. Vaughn, are you sure, Marcus? But we'll only do it on the following conditions. First, you agree to use the profits earned by the mine to help stigma patients. That includes aiding the villagers. If you truly represent the will of the people, then that shouldn't be a problem. Secondly, you must transport all injured combatants, friend or foe, to us. We're not taking sides. Very well. I accept your conditions. We're heading to Wanadeo. Progress report, sir. We penetrated the front gate, but we're sustaining casualties. All right, take the injured to the visiting doctors. What's the status of the enemy? We estimate that they are few in number, sir. However, we have received some disturbing information. Apparently, there are some foreigners providing them with assistance. Who would do such a thing? Arms dealers. Well, at least they're not journalists. Let's proceed as planned. This really is a war. It's detestable, but I'm afraid it's a reality of the world we live in. Doctor, the first aid tent is filling up with injured men. Looks like the nightmare is only beginning. Come on, let's do what we can. We've gotten word that five patients are headed our way. Or really as hell, isn't it? What condition are they in? The first patient has severe electrical burns on his upper body. He touched electrified barbed wire. Even worse, he's undergoing cardiac arrest from the shock. There's no time to lose. What about the others? We don't have any information yet. We'll just have to deal with it. Come on. No one's gonna die on my watch. Let's get started. Get the defibrillator ready. Hurry! We'll begin treating his injuries as soon as we get a pulse. The defibrillator is ready. All right, we have a pulse. Let's start treating these electrical burns. Prepare for skin transplants. Inject the culture fluid into the right half of the patient's body to prepare skin for transplanting. Please begin by either injecting the culture fluid or by treating the pools of blood. Place the skin graft before the area begins to remove the portion of skin with the scalpel, and I'll keep it ready for transplanting. Let's prepare a few more sheets of donor skin. There's still more of the burned area to cover. Please, please move on to the next burn area. Make sure it doesn't get any worse. The coolant's working. Quickly, the burned skin is... There are still other areas that have turned black. Another pool of blood is formed. turned 
black. We can't take our time with this. Another burn's gotten worse. Quickly. The next patient will be here soon, so get ready. We're set. How's the next patient? He's taken gunshot hits from both a rifle and a shotgun. Got it. We'll start by... There's a pellet. It drain the blood and quickly place a synthetic membrane over the wound. The blood is pooling again. Please drain it. Done out here, but there's still damage to the abdomen. We need to open him up and treat him. This is bad. Let's use the magnification tool. The pellet is visible again. It's lodged inside the. It's a shotgun pellet. Now treat the wound made by the pellet. This particular gunshot wound has been treated. Move on to the other wounds. It looks like a rifle round. This is only part of it, but the other piece seems to be lodged in... There's the rest of the round. Let's get it out of there. It only takes a fraction of a second to shoot someone. It takes us this long to heal him. Close him up. Please close the incision. You're going rather quickly. Keep it up. We've gotten a message from headquarters. Our backup is on the way. That's good to hear. I just hope they make it in time. Come on, who's the next patient? Doesn't say what happened, but he's taken a massive blow to the chest. We're done treating the external injuries, but I'm worried about his internal organs. Let's open him up. I was expecting something worse than this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Let's be careful. This is the last of the debris embedded in his body. Let's move on and treat it. Please begin to please close the wound and suture the wound before it opens again. The battles aren't stabilizing. Let's look around with the magnification tool. There must be more wounds. That's strange. His vitals aren't stabilizing. There must be... How did this get here? It's a hemorrhage inside the lung! Please 
treachery. There should be more. are stabilizing. He'll be all right now. Let's start closing him up. Please close him up. We're proceeding very quickly. Let's keep up this pace with the last two patients. This man's in critical condition. He's taken a heavy blow to his left side. This isn't good. His vitals are too low. Broken bone and various external wounds. He seems to have internal injuries, too. We have to open him up immediately. I'm worried about his internal organs. This is bad. First, we need to retrieve the bone fragments. Let's watch out for hemorrhaging. Pretty severe condition. It's rupturing randomly. All the bone fragments. Now that we've taken care of the wounds, we can reassemble the bone fragments. Close up the patient. Please close the incision. Just one more to go. We'll be able to treat them all in our estimated time. This is the last patient. The report says that she may be suffering from hemorrhaging in the pericardium. That doesn't sound good. Let's open her up. The myocardium is hemorrhaging. We'll have to stop the bleeding. Please continue the operation. But look out for that. We found a hemorrhage. Now drain the blood. Suture it before it hemorrhages again. No! The myocardium split. areas and treat them. Treat the ones that seem to be dealing with hemorrhages inside the heart as a race against... She seems to be in stable condition. Let's close her up. Suture the entry incision. And that's all five patients. It's amazing that we were able to save them all within our time limit. A status report, sir. Juana de Obese is back in our hands. The guerrillas have surrendered and are disarming as ordered. What about Ramirez? He's nowhere to be found. He must have slipped away. Don't let him escape. We must capture him and ascertain the truth. Calm the entire area until you find him. <laughs> 